Here's one for you on energy stores and transfers. And I'm just going to tell you to think about this always in terms of eight stores and four transfers. Okay, and always discuss energy analysis in terms of these eight stores and four transfers. This is an OCR gateway nine to one physics question on the second higher paper, which they call paper four. And this is all about energy transfers, energy stores and transfers. Um, there's some really important knowledge that you need to get your head around the new kind of approach that up to energy that we're taking in these new exams. So the eight stores are chemical, thermal, kinetic, gravitational, elastic, nuclear, gra electrostatic and magnetic. Those are the eight stores and the four types of transfers are um, by physical work, so that's by, by forces, um, by electrostatic work, electrical working, so which is the forces between charges, um, and by heating by radiation, so that's EM waves, heating by particles, so that's conduction and convection. So there are only those eight stores and four transfers. Um, if you think about, make sure you learn those eight stores and four transfers, and you're going to find it easier to answer this type of question. So explain what happens to the energy stored by the roller coaster car when it reaches the pool of water. So notice they haven't told you. We're not interested in B, C, all of this stuff yet. We're just interested in the car here. What is the energy stored by the roller coaster at the start? Okay, the kinetic energy store is transferred to the water. And it does that by doing work, by doing forces, okay? This causes the energy store of the water, the thermal store, and the kinetic store of the water. Basically, the water is pushed, okay? And the water heats up slightly because of the friction between the car and the water to increase. Okay? So, um, do you think about that? I've got my initial store, I've got my transfer, I've got my final store, and that's giving me three marks there. There are other things you could have said which are useful. We could say, well, there's going to be energy dissipated to the environment. That's a really useful when you're talking about what happens to energy and why energy spreads out, then use the term dissipated as heating to the environment. Okay, that's a really important one there. The highest the roller coaster, highest part of the roller coaster is a B, part G is lower than E. Explain why the height must reduce along the roller coaster ride. Use ideas about conservation of energy in your answer. Now I would encourage you, if you see that, use an idea, then bang down that idea first, okay? So what does conservation of energy mean? Okay, conservation of energy means, or in other words, the energy at the start is equal to the energy at the end. That's a simpler way to put it, I guess, right? So what we need to really talk about is that the reason why E is lower than B and G is lower than E is because not all of the gravitational potential energy at B is converted to kinetic energy at D. And not all of that kinetic energy is converted back into gravitational potential energy at E. And not all of that gravitational potential energy is converted to kinetic energy at F. And not all of that is converted to GPE at G. Okay, so the reason why it has to get smaller is because we've got these wasted energies or transfers to the surroundings in the form of heat. So the next thing I would say is that each rise and fall, energy is transferred to the surroundings as heating. Or I'll just say it's dissipated as heating to the surroundings. Okay, um, so this link this back to the actual question why is it lower? This means that there is less energy available in the car to. Uh, to get to a certain height at E, then B, and at G, then E. I think I've got enough marks there, really. Um, let's have a little look. I've said what the law of conservation of energy is. Okay, I've said that it's been dissipated to the surroundings. I've said it's heating that it's being dissipated to, or I could have said by because of friction. And I've said that this means there's less energy available to the car than E than G, than G. And I really, I probably should link that to gravitational potential energy. So less height or GPE. Okay, so last one then in this question here. A roller coaster car has a mass of 1,200 kilograms. It gains 2,400, sorry, 
gains 240 kilojoules. Now, because I am a whiz, I am going to get rid of the kilo and just replace it with three zeros, because why wouldn't you? Because we don't want to use non-SI units. Okay, so acceleration due to gravity is this. We asked to calculate the height. Okay, well, this uses an equation that you need to memorize, which is energy, potential energy is equal to mgh. And this is one of those equations that you need to memorize for your GCSEs. And you're lucky because I've written you a book called Memorize Equations for GCSE Physics, which you can buy on Amazon, and I'll put a link here. And um, that will help you to make sure you memorize them. And you don't look four marks that you'd lose out on if you did not memorize that equation. So that's a crucial thing for you to do. So um, what's the mass? Well, let's just put the numbers in the way they go. That's probably the way I'd tackle this one. Okay, and then I just rearrange for H. Type all that in the calculator. Being careful with my number of zeros. Twenty. Now I will say about this question that um, a lot of people were missing out that killer, and they end up with something like 0 0.02 meters, which is like two centimeters. So if you just put in two uh, 240, you get 0 0.02 meters. Now that is not going to be a very high or very exciting roller coaster. So do you think about this. Well, is that a sensible answer for me to have given to the to this question? Where are we getting the marks from here then? We're getting a mark for remembering the equation, easy peasy. We're getting a mark for having rearranged the equation, putting the numbers in the right place, and for the final answer. Of course, you do get four marks for writing down 20, but you're more likely to not get marks. If you would get made a mistake, then you could still be picking up marks all the way along. So if you've done, if you've got 0 0.02 and you've not converted this, then you're probably still gonna get two marks for having remembered the equation and for having rearranged it correctly, okay? And this essentially is what energy analysis is all about, really. It's using an energy to make a calculation. So remember those two things for the new topic of energy analysis in these new GCSEs. Eight stores, four transfers, and energy is a useful tool for calculation. You can calculate one type of energy and use that type of energy to calculate another unknown quantity. I've got some videos on energy analysis just right here. I hope that was a useful one for you. I'm Kit Best Masters, this is Gorilla Physics, and we're all about you understanding physics more so that you enjoy it more, get more confident, and you're going to do better. In